Good evening. In a break from our regular programming, we are going to bring you something new, different, and exciting. That's right. Today we are going to be looking at a guitar pedal kit from our friends at Stumac. If you are familiar with Stumac, as I know many of our viewers will be, Stumac are suppliers of all things Luthery, whether you're going to be building an acoustic or an electric, literally everything that you need. And they also sell kits. They're calling this the International House of Overdrive Rare Pedal Kit, and it is based off of a legendary guitar pedal, arguably the first guitar overdrive pedal, the Crowther Audio Hotcake. We have quite an array of parts and pieces here, and I'm not a seasoned solderer. It might not surprise you to learn. I've done one basic pedal kit before, like a bass fuzz pedal, and I actually really messed it up the first time, <laughs> the first time I did it. I kind of scorched some components. I didn't really know how to use a soldering iron. And uh, you know, I may or may not have soldered some things on back to front. So my first pedal building experience wasn't awesome, but just having a little flick through this instruction manual, not only is it very nicely designed, but it looks extremely in depth. I think we won't have any problems here. Wish me luck. If you're anything like me, the temptation is to just get cracking into this like straight away. There's lots and lots of parts and pieces here. And honestly, I don't know what any of them do. It's been a long time since GCSE physics, but I'm gonna very carefully get all of these little components out and make sure that I have everything that I need because we'd hate to get halfway through this and uh, realize we were down a cap. Look at these, so cute. I believe this is an LED, a light emitting diode, if you will. <laughs> these little spider guys. All right, well, I know what these are. These are resistors. Don't know what that is. This is a diode. Who knew? 10K resistors, let's like spot the difference. All of the little bands on the resistors mean something electronical, and I don't understand it. So I'm just gonna go with colors, color matching. Black. Is that brown black? I think that is brown black black. The more optically challenged of you may well prefer to use some optivisors, some such thing. I should maybe use some optivisors. I'm gonna be really organized. I'm gonna tick it off like a good boy. There's lots of brown black black brown ones and they all have different resistances. That's important because that means it determines how good the guitar pedal is gonna sound apparently. That's our 100k resistor. How many of those? I need three of those. Little red capacitor, very important. Red capacitors are the best for tone. We've got our diode, we've got our LED, 24 inches of wire, we've got our control knobs, we've got our breakout board, which I think the foot switch goes to. Probably not the best idea to build a pedal with tiny small parts on a bench that has holes in it. That wasn't smart. We've got our pots, short for potentiometers. We've got our integrated circuit, which is the little spider. We've got our other spider friend, our integrated circuit socket. We've also got our box pre-drilled, which is nice. The last kit I did wasn't pre-drilled. That's good that it's pre-drilled. All right, so you can paint the housing as you like. To be honest, I'm probably not even gonna put the stickers on because I like naked pedals. I don't like people knowing what's on my board, you know? I like to maintain that aura of mystery. I'll probably put something vague and cryptic on there, like a bought universe or something like that. This is like a high school textbook for electronics. I'm gonna dive into this, into the detail of understanding resistors and their values at a later date, but this is very impressive because the last kit that I did didn't have any of that and it just told you where to solder things together. I like this a lot. Very important, the polarity of components, meaning which way round they can go, whether they're positive or negative. The shorter leads are the negative and the longer ones are the positive, so it's very important that they're put the right way around. Otherwise this pedal's not gonna work. All right, soldering. Solder joints you make on the circuit board are very small and too much heat can damage the board. <laughs> I know that experience. The idea is to make joints quickly without scorching the holes. There's lots of techniques to soldering that I was unaware of when I first started my soldering journey. I ruined many soldering tips of which they're all different shapes and sizes. This is a soldering iron I got from I think Amazon. 
other retailers are available. I'm fairly sure that Stumac will have many a soldering iron for you to choose from. But this one it has a temperature controller on it. I set it to 400 degrees C and that seems to work. There's also loads of different types of solder that you can use. I use a lead free solder with a resin core or something like that that helps it to flow. I'm sure that many people in the comments will chastise me for my soldering technique. That's fine. I have no real clue what I'm doing, but these kits are all about learning. All right, so we're actually gonna get into, wow, this is, this is not the same size. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fiddly, but we're gonna have fun with this. Okay, this is, this is good. I really like how clear these instructions are. Orienting, orienting this chip is also critical. A small dot on the upper left corner is installed on the same end as the U-shaped cutout. All right, so we're going to carefully do some careful snapping. But that feels to be a careful snap. And then we're gonna flip over the board and solder, or solder if you're in America, all of the all of the legs in place. And we're gonna try and not get solder everywhere. What I found with soldering or soldering is you just need to, <laughs> you just need to kind of play around with it until you get the, the feeling for how it works, how the solder wants to flow, the type of tip that you prefer, and the temperatures as well. There are some great videos online about the intricacies of soldering. It's just gonna be a bit of a trial and error process. One thing I do really like, I found really handy, is using blue tack or putty to hold your components in place while you work on them. Solder time. Solder time. I feel like the Bob Ross of pedal building right now. Like this is just loads of Happy little accidents. It's all the time. Just gonna say just how nicely designed and laid out this is. So clear. They've really, really thought this through. Very impressed. If this doesn't work, it really will be my fault. It's all the time. All right. So that's all of our capacitors, resistors, diodes. Now it's time to get our wire. These are the wires that I imagine will go to the pots. Now I've got to solder all of the lugs in place. Solder time. Fantastic. You too can experience the joy of a perfect solder joint. It's only taken me, what, like 50 or so, so far. Time. This is where I went horribly wrong on my first pedal kit. I soldered the foot switch in back to front. Install the circuit board and connect the LED. It's getting a bit fiddly now. Oh, it's getting excited. God, everything's getting pretty tight in here. By this point, we're all professional solderers. Yes. Now we're gonna get our jack leads. The kit contains two mono jacks. One will be your input, the other is your output. Insert one jack into the left side of the housing. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like the joints are reasonable. It's all the time. To the gods of pedal making, I am truly sorry for my untidy work. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting one nice solder joint for every five <laughs> shitty ones complete view not the prettiest by any stretch but once i got into the swing of things with the soldering iron and uh you know they're all right we've got some nice polished shiny solder joints and some less so i'm excited to go give this a try and hopefully it works because if it doesn't i'm probably going to cry it is a very nicely produced kit. I'm very, very impressed. It's one of those things that I'm kind of excited that it's finished, but I'm already sad that it's over and I'm already thinking, right, which kit am I gonna get next? Wow. All right, well, it took a little longer than I anticipated. That's okay. Now it's time to uh, go home and hopefully wake up the neighbors. <laughs>